Notre Dame's got to have the ball move. They've got to come off these screens. got to get the ball moving so they can get the ball into the paint. And that's typical. Right there is what they love to do. It's an eraser because there always is some change in the schedule all the time. That's a good sign. Dane Goodwin knocks down a long three and gives the Irish a three-point lead. Coach Davis, here's a great look here. Watch the ball swinging here. Knocking in that shot, settled right in. That's a great shot. But there's just not been enough time to work on things. And Notre Dame's coming out and doing like a, a, a point press with a, a big man out front. He gets sped up too much, out of control. Great charge by the Irish. Goodwin tiptoes the end line and a good kiss off the window for two. Advantage to have someone that size, tips 10, that can step out and hit the three. And then again, the baseline. Then Goodwin is very good around the base. Their point guard struggling with scoring. They are still playing hard and are playing as a team, and other guys have stepped up. Goodwin lost his footing but regathered himself and then made his way to the rim for two. Have their first lead in the second half. Goodwin drives the paint, gets it up with his right, and retakes the lead for Notre Dame, and Mike Bray calls for time. In rhythm that time, there's a three. That one finds the bottom of the net for Dane Goodwin. At 14 minutes, and hit a couple of field goals. Trapped on the baseline, there's Notre Dame's defense. It forces a turnover. That was pretty good by Sanders there. He came and doubled, forced a turnover. Third turnover and a driving layup is put up and in by Dean Goodwin. A nice run for the Irish. Over on ESPN, Iowa having its way with North Carolina. 32-19 in the first half with about five to go there. They got Leshevsky got a mismatch and a good pass. Boy, that was so good. Leshevsky was down there. What's up with Nikola Joga? Hub sets up Goodwin. Yes. Goodwin, solid player, Bob. You're going to like him. He's just the coach's player. Off the shot fake. Hauser wide open. Rebound to Durham. Notre Dame running with Goodwin attacking and finishing. Expect the three, but again, pushing pace. Hub gets it out. Hauser tries to close out, does a decent job, but simply quicker. Well, and it's the junior class when you consider Hub, Goodwin, as well as Zuseski. These are the, these guys are the core of this team as Goodwin knocks down to three. Ball in the three-point shooting battle. Dane Goodwin, who you would expect, knocked down. I knew that that was a way for you to get Syracuse in. I knew you had some no, type of Syracuse no, no, mention. No, no. <laughs> Isaiah Wong's my guy. Okay. I wanted okay. to get Wong in there. I won. That was Gasson who couldn't finish, the freshman from Holland. And there is a long three. Good one working on Couture. What about Couture defensively here? Giving up nothing. And Dane Goodwin off the window. Virginia Tech the ball, but Dane Goodwin puts the Irish in front. Defend, defend, defend. Two-point game now, and the Irish with the ball in the lead. Skip for Goodwin's triple. Nice answer by Notre Dame. Goodwin thought about the three, dribbles in, fading away, and it finally drops first basket in five minutes for the Irish. Notre Dame back into the zone. Hub got his hands on it. Goodwin's feeling it, and Goodwin's got it. He doesn't care about no foul trouble. <laughs> back in the game, and all he does is knock down a couple of threes. Mike Gray said, okay, go back in the game. Don't foul anybody. We'll play zone, make threes. Notre Dame in his zone, and it leads to a turnover. Goodwin. There's that shot fake. Goodwin, there's that three from the corner. But Goodwin at the bottom of the zone. Here's a situation where off the turnover, nice job by Hub to recover it. Goodwin takes off and just runs to the spot. Hub finds him, that little fake, he gets his feet set and is able to knock it down. Scoreless on three shot attempts against Syracuse. Goodwin knocks it down. 
second half, as Mike Gray put it, the Hokies just out the Irish. They took their lunch money. They treated us like the JV, he said. There's Durham slamming it home for the opening bucket. It's time you be able to get that jump hook over his left shoulder, something he couldn't do in the first half against John Juan uh, Durham. You see Nick Jogo on the backdoor cut for the finish. I'm sure whether that ball didn't go off for Nick Jogo, but again, you know, play on. Good win. Gets two. And, and what you have to do is you got to find him and block him out. Good win. He's got it for three. And again, it's as large as the lead has been for Notre Dame at 13 again. Free throw line. Well, this is a situation where the pit defense runs to the baseline because that's where the ball goes. Good one outside the three. Leshesky over the shoulder, the tip up and in. Goodwin with some nice touch. Goodwin drives it into the lane, trying to reverse course. Draws the foul, and he'll go to the line. Moving that pivot foot, he got into the painted area, and you see he will keep that right foot down. Jordan Usher, ball ripped away. Dane Goodwin comes away with it. Hub lets it fly and hits it for Georgia Tech. Well, part of the problem is they're, again, they're really struggling against that zone. This is really a good decision by Good. Goodwin fakes out Usher and it rolls in for Dane Goodwin, who answers on the offensive end. Really, really good pass. And Dane Goodwin, the immediate answer. Here's a look at the Irish starting lineup. Features Cormac Ryan in there for a second straight ball game, too, Paul. Uh, Mike Bray started him after the Georgia Tech game, and it paid off with 28 points. He's seen that most of this season. They rotate McGusty, Wong, and Walker in the middle of the ACC logo. It's paid off. Three ball from the perimeter for Dane Goodwin. Works. Ahead for Ryan, under eight to go in the first half. Miami has built a five-point advantage here. Goodwin trying to lock in on that and does. Well, Goodwin has hit two deep ones for the Irish. Decide not to foul. Tend to shoot, play it out here. Yeah, don't fall uh, now. Goodwin, a shot fake, step back three, bottom. Syracuse extending the pressure. Come out, try to speed you up. They did that, but terrific play in transition by Goodwin. Finish with the left hand. It is fun to watch, but there are times where he can go quiet, and he needs to find ways to impact the game outside of shot making. That's where the evolution comes. A couple runouts here for the Irish. Great look, electing to go off the bounce. Seamless in movement, Dane Goodwin. He's good on both. Five-point game. Less than 30 ticks left. Goodwin off the fake, will get it for a two, and gets it to spin home back down to three. Playing a lot more minutes with the starting backcourt out for the season. Goodwin answers. Pressure with passes. They're passing over the top, and that time, nice little give and go and concentration on point. This is a beautiful finish by Goodwin. And one. On Durham, one of the better post defenders in the ACC. Notre Dame not going to help when Kopravica catches the basketball. Good one. Leshesky. It's another Notre Dame slam dunk. Dane Goodwin down the lane. Nobody comes to help, and it's yet another basket at the rim for Notre Dame. Montana State would move up to nine and take it on Syracuse on Wednesday as Dane Goodwin knocks down the three over the last few possessions for these teams. Dane Goodwin knocking down the three.